Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. MC Mora here and uh, in today's video we are gonna be ranking all of the Street Fighter 5 costumes. At least the ones that is available on this tiers list on a tier list. Uh, at the start I was gonna do like my top 5 favorite costumes and top 5 costumes that I thought looked bad. But then I thought like why not make a tiers list video of all of the costumes. I, that sounds like a better idea. And obviously, as you can see, there are a ton of costumes, and because there are so many, and uh, we're not gonna spend that much on every single one of them, I'm just gonna give like a line or just a comment on them, and uh, let's keep it going. I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit, so that if you are on mobile or something, you can at least see the costume. Hope that at least now you can see it better. I mean, I think now it's probably gonna be fine. So in the series list, they are starting with Minat first. We have Minat, Abigail, Ed. So let, let's keep it moving. The first one is the Minat Christmas one. And uh, I do think that is an A tier costume. It's amazing. <laughs> Probably Minat's best costume. Absolutely love it. The school girl Minat. Um, I do like that she's holding a book. And she does look cute. But she does look very young. And uh, it, it makes her look a little bit weird. So maybe I would put it in. It's not C bad. I mean, it's supposed to C. I don't know. Story Minat. I, I do think that's a story, right? Or maybe that's a bad. No, no, that is the battle costume. It is a mummy Minat, obviously. Uh, yeah, that, that's just pure fan service, but it looks good. I think it looks good. It looks probably a lot better than the Melina MK9 costume, primarily because Minat's model is 10 times better. Uh, but that's good. The story costume, I'm actually a big fan of this one. I will put it on the 8 here. The story costume for Minat looks the most uh, ancient Egyptian, I will say. I mean, this one's kinda eh, you know. But this one kinda reminds me of the uh, the typical ancient Egyptian's uh, look. So I do like it a lot. And the default costume, I think it's the middle of the road. I think that one is a P. Uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a really cool looking costume. It's simple. It's effective, the colors along with her brown skin look nice, so I do like it a lot. Now let's move to Abigail. Tracksuit Abigail. This is probably actually one of his best looking costumes. I, I, I do like it a lot. He doesn't look that stupid with it, so I'm gonna put him in B. Mecha Abigail. <laughs> this is his best looking costume. I do think, I do think that Abigail in general have a ridiculous look. It's hard to take him seriously, and when you have a... Like, he's one of the characters where the costumes that embrace the silliness are the ones that works for him. So I do think that the Mecha Abigail is an A tier. And it's the same for this one. The uh, Halloween costume, again, it's the same reason. He, he, like, he looks so silly that it just makes it better when you go all the way with the silly nature. Um... This one I do think is alright. It's it looks better than his default costume, I believe. It like I I I would have assumed this would have been his default, but they probably wanted to keep the final fight look a little bit. So I guess maybe, but it doesn't look bad. But it's average. It's average. And the same for this one. Maybe this one is actually C. I'm not a big fan of the tires on his hand and legs. I do like the general look. So like if he had wearing you know he's wearing jeans along with a shirt that looks like it's been torn apart and I do like the tire on his uh, you know in his shoulder but the hands and legs tire kind of make it look stupid and his default costume is just a D it's absolutely one of the worst looking default costumes in the game. The model in general looks really silly like I, I do think one of these should have been the default. But, you know, it is what it is. Ed and the tracksuit costume. Why would there be a tracksuit costume for Minat, I wonder. But Ed tracksuit, I do think, is a... It's an A costume. I, I generally really like it. Some characters look really good in tracksuits, and I do think Ed is one of them. Just a boxer on a tracksuit, it, it feels right. I'm not sure what of it, but it, it feels right. The Nino costume is a B. Most of the crossover costumes have some weirdness to them. The issue with, with Ed and Nero is I, I do think the model itself 
fits Nero kinda because it have one of the slimmer uh, builds in general. Most of the characters in Street Fighter V are very bulky. It is a little bit slimmer, so he works for Nero. But it's just that his nature, his default pose, and the way he moves in general doesn't fit Nero at all. And uh, the uh, I believe this is the Donovan one. Not a fan. School Ed is alright. Uh, I put it in B. It fits him better than most of his other costumes. This was <laughs> not even gonna comment. The hoodie is a C. The hoodie Ed is a generally cool idea. It, it looks really good in the story stills and in the story mode. But the issue is, again, his just his the way it animates and his default pose and all of that. It, it makes all of his costumes look worse. I'm not sure what of it. And his default costume, bottom of D. It's absolutely one of the worst default costume in the entire history of Street Fighter. It's awful. Honestly, this is top three worst costumes in Street Fighter history, in my opinion. Um, Colleen and uh, tracksuit Colleen. Um, there is one thing that kind of surprised me about this one, and I also thought it was a little bit weird. Why is she wearing the uh, story, like the, her hair, her hairstyle is the one from her like nostalgia costume and also that was a little bit weird. Why isn't she rocking her default hair? I do believe she's like the only one who's like that. So it is a little bit weird. It doesn't look bad, but it just looks average. Ada Wong is B. This, I, I do think if she had the black hair, it would look a lot better. There is some PC mods that turn her hair color into black and it looks so much better. Obviously Ada does have a cool design, there is the Resident Evil 4 and the Resident Evil 6 designs and both of them look really cool. So the costume itself looks alright, it's just that the hair kinda... Uh, which Colleen is an A. That's absolutely one of my favorites. I do love this costume to be honest. Like if I'm playing Colleen, I would usually play this one. Or one of the upcoming ones is absolutely one of my favorites. Just fits the character really, really well. Especially when she's shouting on your knees, and you know she goes all psychotic. Looks really cool on a witch. Um, no judgment, no judgment. But this one, <laughs> this one does it for me. I mean, you know, I, I, I do think you can kind of make up why I do like the. Uh, I do like in I, I I do like in general the general idea of it. Let's just put it at that. Uh, this one is a swimsuit. I kind it it looks weird because I'm not a fan of like the coat hanging around looks cool. I'm not a fan of the head. It gives her a very fifties looking uh, design, which maybe that's what we were going for. But I I don't know. I really don't know. It, it, something about it just doesn't feel right. And her, I don't know, the winter Colleen. I feel like this one is alright. It's one of her, uh, I don't like the tiara, but the general costume looks really nice. Uh, I guess she's supposed to be like an ice queen and uh, that work. But I do think if they went as cliche as it sounds, and I know it is cliche as hell, I would have expected a more of an Elsa look, look for Colleen, you know, like a proper ice queen with fancy dress and all of that. Maybe they could have capitalized on the frozen uh, popularity, but I, I don't know. The skater Colleen is nice. I would say that one is a B. I'm not a big fan of the color. Uh, Colleen is very white in general. A lot of her attacks are also very whitish, so I'm not a big fan of the color. Maybe something with a little bit more contrast would have looked good. It does look good on some of the other alternative colors. So it's not a bad design at all, but uh, I do like the skates as well. It looks it looks deadly when she's like giving you the standing heavy kick when there are blades on her. Uh, you know she's winning skates and the blades on the skate. Damn, that looks terrible. The nostalgia one for me is it. It's a little bit disappointing. Let it be known that I love the aesthetic, right? I love the aesthetic. I just don't think that the, that the hair design doesn't do it for me. I think it takes the costume down by a good bit. I don't think the hair itself is bad. It's just that it doesn't look good in 3D and this costume doesn't have that much going for it. 
so uh, it breaks it down a little bit the battle costume i believe again this one is very generic not that big fan of it i do love the story costume actually i'm gonna put this one in a this one have a milia rage vibe uh, from guilty gear uh, probably uh, because the battle director was a guilty gear player <laughs> so this one reminds me of milia rage a ton and i do like that and the default costume i think i think it's all right I'll say it's B. It's middle of the road. It looks cool. It checks all of the right boxes. I do like the gray black color scheme and the contrast with her white skin and bright hair. It works really, really well. And you, you like you instantly get an idea that she is like Russian or Scandinavian or something of the sort. She's like one of the cold countries. So, I mean, yeah. Looks alright. Uh, Tracksuit Akuma is just C. Nothing too, ma nothing too much to talk about. This one, again, not too much. The classic Akuma, I do think, is uh, an A. It, it looks really, really cool. The issue with it is that it is just don't do anything fancy with it. Like, there are some of the nostalgia or classic costumes like Cody or Sean Lee's that look really good. Akuma is just a well-designed Akuma, but nothing too much more than that. The uh, this one I kind of like this one too. The uh, is this a battle costume? I think it is. I like it. I like. I like it. It's nothing too fancy. I, I know some people don't like the scarf thing, but I genuinely actually like it. It looks. It, it makes it look a bit supernatural, and I'm 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 a fan of that. The battle damaged Akuma. Uh, and classic Akuma is out of the you know it's just average. Maybe a little bit below average. Again, I'm not a big. I, I don't mind the design, but I, I like some people I know hate the lion head so much. I don't hate it, but it doesn't look that special either. Uh, tracksuit Urian. I think it looks alright. It's average. I don't feel strongly about it one way or the other. Now, Whisker Urian. Um, I know many people like this one. I don't. Whisk. I, I I think the way Yurian looks is fine for Whisker, but it's just that the way Yurian moves and his animation looks completely whack on Whisker. Like it's completely whack. I can't imagine Whisker doing the hmm, dumbass flying headbutt or the dumbass flying knee. It just looks wrong on the character. It just looks wrong. I'm, I'm not a fan at all, actually. And uh, this is a Dimitri costume. Again, I, I don't think this one is okay. It, it does have some... Like, the the uh, the clothes itself have a little bit of weird texture to it. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but it's okay. The Gil costume is a D. Obviously, we got Gil later, and Gil looks so much better on his other costume. This one is a C... Not a big fan. I do actually like the story costume a fair bit. Uh, I'm gonna put this one an A actually. This one look cool. I'm not sure what about it, but it makes Yurian look like a cooler villain or like a villain who doesn't give a fuck. So I, I do like him. And I do think that default Yurian is actually... I, I like default Yurian the best. Just uh, the guy in his suit. It looks really cool. It's simple but effective. To the character the best out of his other costumes. Obviously, also you get the code, so that looks really, really nice. Uh, Traxo Jury, I will say that one is a C. Doesn't fit her that much, in my opinion. Mecha Jury, I do think, is an A. This costume looks amazing. For some reason, it looks really cool, and they went with a really cool build and a really cool design. I love like the blade thing going on here and the hair design. I I really really like it. Lily's Jury, um, not a fan. Swimsuit Jury. This one is very effective. Let it be known. I know players who actually play Jury just because of this costume. So I think at least I have to give it a B. It's a pretty cool looking swimsuit. So. It's cool. The Nostalgia Jury, I will say this one is a... I like it, actually. 
But I would put it as like the top of C. It's not a bad design at all, but it's... And I don't know, I, I do think it looked better in Street Fighter 4. I do like the jacket enhancement. I do think the jacket makes it look better. And of course you can take it off, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't look as good as it could have. And then we have Schoolgirl Jewelry and... Um, I mean, this is easily an S. This is easily an S. One of the best looking costumes in the game, in my opinion. The design is very creative. Uh, Jury is obviously the perfect character for a punk girl, so looks fabulous. I love it, absolutely love it. And um, Holiday Jury, this one is fine, it's effective. I'll say it's effective. So, it's at B, it's average, it's a pretty effective looking, uh, sexy costume for Jury. Uh, the Halloween one is a D. The issue with this one is if you notice, the textures on it is really, really bad. Like, especially on the loading screen as such, if you look at the textures on the costume, it looks really, really bad, so I'm not a big fan. I am a big fan of the, uh, I think this is her battle costume. Uh, I love it. Jury with the yoga bands, so it looks really cool, and I do love the hair design of that one. This one also is a guilty pleasure. I'm gonna put it a B. I know many people are not a fan of this one, but uh, I do like how the bands look. That's it, to be honest. And default jury, um, I think it's a C. Biker, she's supposed to be like a biker. Obviously, this outfit had a lot uh, going for it. Uh, there is obviously the censorship that went on with this one. If you played, like, I believe, like the Cami storyline, you will see that she didn't have the black undershirt. The black undershirt makes the costume look a little bit weird. Uh, maybe they didn't want to give her like a lot of cleavage. So I'm not really sure what went on with this one. Just feels off. Just feels off. And then we are into Balrog. Tracksuit Balrog is S in my opinion. He looks fantastic. Balrog already I do feel have a fantastic look in general. And the tracksuit, he looks fantastic in this one. Uh, and I do think the... Um, also Balrog without the hoodie is an S. This this looks awesome. Like he looks like the perfect boxer in my opinion. He's white. He's very muscular, very intimidating. I do like how he looks a lot. This one I'm not a fan. I don't love the silly costumes that much. Silliness does not work on Balrog. And uh, I do think the Street Fighter one, Mike one, eh, it's okay. This one, the nostalgia one, it's it's well done, but it doesn't stand out. So I'll put it at B. It's average. I do like this one, but uh, I, I do think this is like the battle costume. It looks cool, I guess. I do like Balrog without the boxing gloves, so that's pretty cool. So let's put it an A. I like Balrog without the boxing gloves, and he looks uh, he looks like a Street Fighter, I'd say. So uh, let's give it an A. Story Balrog? Hmm. I kind of like it, actually. <laughs> I kind of like it. He looks like, like, he looks how I would imagine Balrog casually looking, like if he was hanging at a club or something. Obviously, the boxer gloves looks kind of weird on that one, but it does, it does have a cool look. And traditional Balrog design, I do think it's an S. Balrog is absolutely one of the best looking characters in the game. Ibuki, I'm a big fan of her tracksuit costume. You know, Ibuki in general have a... Ibuki have, I think you could call it a runner build, like she looks like, she looks like a runner, right, like someone who will be playing in like track and field competitions, I, I do think that like, that is just her general body design, so I do think the track field costume looks really cool on her, the uh, monster hunter one, I'm a big fan of that one, obviously she does not look that much like a monster hunter, but it's alright, not a fan, I guess this Strider reference is kind of cool, but I don't know. Let's put it at C. Nostalgia Ibuki is actually pretty nice. It's a well done costume. It's simple. They they don't really do anything that complicated with it. It doesn't have the wow factor of the Shun or the Cody Nostalgia, but it's pretty well done. Uh, I feel like this was the Celebration one. Eh. Doesn't look that weird. The track and suit costume. Eh. Doesn't really feel it. 
the uh, story costume or this is like the uh, this is I feel like it's the best looking costume for Ibuki I do think this is an, an, a better version of her default costume in my opinion uh, this uh, I'm not sure what that one is is this like her swimsuit one I'm not really sure but I, I never liked it the white dress this one is all right but it's just way too plain there is nothing wrong with it but it's too plain, nothing nothing much going on, so let's put it at C. Classic Ibuki or Nostal. This is like the default Ibuki, yeah, it's just average. It doesn't look bad at all, but it just doesn't look special. Uh, Tracksuit Guile, um, I think he looks fine. Like, it, it looks fine on him, it's something I can see Guile wearing. So it does look fine, but it doesn't stand out. Not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, this is the Knuckle Do costume, I believe. It doesn't look bad, but I don't like it on Guile. I don't. I don't think it looks good in Street Fighter V. And this one is the same thing, honestly. The uh, suit costume looked amazing in Street Fighter 4, but in Street Fighter 5 it doesn't do it for me. The uh, this is a battle costume, I believe. Uh, he looks like a mechanical engineer of sorts, so I do I guess it kind of works, but it doesn't really fit Guile either that much. Traditional Guile I do think is fine, so I'm gonna give him B, his average. And I do think the uh, classic guile or the default guile is, uh, let's say, is average as well. He's like just a little bit below average. It's it's a cool look, but um, eh, not that much more to it. Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Then we still have a lot to go, so we, we better get moving. Uh, Alex and his uh, tracksuit. That's gonna be C. The, this one, I don't like it actually. <laughs> I like this one. I feel like this one is from like Bloody Roar, I believe. Uh, I like it. Let's put MB. Not a fan. 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 The Nostal, not a fan as well. The Nostalgia Alex, I do think looks good though. I'm oh, gonna put an A. Nostalgia Alex is like obviously his best one. Alex in general does have a little bit of weirdness because of his uh, something about his legs doesn't look right. His leg is reversed, so he does have a little bit of weirdness to him. But the Nostalgia one I feel is probably his most well done costume. I believe most of his other costumes, you know, I don't know. I I, I don't like any of them to be honest. Tracksuit Fang doesn't look that good. Halloween Fang, uh, let's just eliminate the ones that looks kind of whack, right? Uh, Mecha Fang actually looks amazing. I'm gonna put, you know what? Let's put Mecha Fang and S. I do think this is by far his best looking costume. Fang again is a little bit weird, and having a costume that fully embraces the weirdness and enhances it looks a lot better. Like Fang as an android looks amazing. And kind of the same for this one, you know, honestly, the uh, Halloween one. He looks like a crazy character from a horror story, so I do like it on him. Uh, these ones are just alright. The battle costume and his default costume. I don't think the default costume, I've said the default costume is average. I know many people don't like Fang, but I do like him. He looks like one of the shady kung fu characters from the 70s movies. You know, one of these shady kung fu masters. So I do like that look on him. And the color, the purple color for the poison. It's a good design. It's a good design, I'll say overall. Uh, tracksuit Dalsim looks weird. Uh, I mean, Nostalgia Dalsim is alright. I think it's just a little bit below average. The, but I don't know. This is a Halloween Dalsim, right? Um, I do like the mummy look on him. So I'm gonna put it on the A tier. Again, Dalsim is one of the characters who look better when you embrace the ridiculous. So it does look really cool on him. 
I'm not a big fan of this one, the battle costume I believe. It's an alternate look to his default but doesn't look that amazing. Both of these I do think looks really cool. I'm gonna put the default one in the B tier and I'm gonna put the... Uh, I'm not sure which one, maybe that was the story costume. But I do think the story Dalsim is A tier. I do think this is the best look for traditional Dalsim overall. Obviously, you, you can go a little bit better if you embrace the craziness, but for classic Dalsim, this is the best he has ever looked, in my opinion. And uh, let's keep going. Laura, school Laura. It's effective. <laughs> let's put it in B. And uh, tracksuit Laura looks fine. So let's put it in C. Gloria is gonna be a. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you you know where we're going with uh, with the swimsuit Laura, right? Like, you cannot tell me this one is not an ultra effective costume. Eighty percent of the Laura players are using that costume, and for good uh, reasons. Obviously, for good reasons. Uh, the first swimsuit, I'm not that big of a fan of. I'm gonna put it at C. I do like the uh, little. Uh, like the thing around her legs, I do think that looks kind of cute. I'm not sure what it's called in English, I don't remember, uh, but it looks really, really cool. I do like the traditional hours, uh, like this is a sporty Laura, she looks like a volleyball player, and I do like volleyball players, so let's put it at uh, B. Meh, effective, but not that great. Uh, again, this one is also effective, but not that great. Default Laura is. Um, I'll say default Laura is a little bit below average. It's an alright design, but it doesn't. It, it, it's not striking. I, I don't feel like I want to know more about her just when I look at her like that, right? This one, I believe, should have been her default costume. While it's a lot more sexy than the default costume, and maybe that's why they didn't want to go for it. Uh, I do think it, it's a lot more visually striking, right? And uh, I do like it for that. Uh, S tier. Easy S tier. <laughs> then give Again, I, d I don't know why, but combat characters in general, like Boxer and Zangief, looks amazing in tracksuits. Like, it, 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 look, it, it fits, right? It looks like something that just fits. It feels right. And I do love the mask on Zangief, so let's put it on B. Mecha Zangief is A, easily one of the best Mecha characters. So this one is an easy A. Uh, D, not a fan, and I'm not a fan of the singlet either. Uh, this leaves us with these ones. I do love the the bear wrestler one. Absolutely love this one. Gif in general looks amazing in this game. Absolutely love him. The uh, Macho Man Randy Savage costume, yeah, I, I do think that's a B, at least a B. And Classic Zangief is a, a timeless design. He looked like a wrestler. He looked like he's someone who will... Uh, Beat the shit out of you, so obviously a classic design. Tracksuit Karen, just average, so let's put it at C. Swimsuit Karen is effective actually, so I'm gonna put it at the top of C. I don't think it's hot enough, but it looks something, it looks like something Karen would wear, and uh, that looks cool. Tennis Karen is whack, this one is whack. Uh, I know many Karen players love this dress. So for that, I'm gonna give you guys something and put it at, uh, let's put it at average. I'm personally not a fan, it looks super plain. Like it doesn't even look like something that a fancy girl like Karen would wear. So I'm gonna leave it at that. The Ingrid costume, I'm not a big fan. The Nostalgia costume does not look good in my opinion. I don't know why, but something about it feels off. It just doesn't feel right. I do like the design of the uh, anniversary one, so I'm gonna put this one at uh, C. The issue with it, her, her hands look way too big in it. I know this is a general complaint of Street Fighter V in general and the models, but I do like the actual design. This costume, if I'm playing Karen in any capacity whatsoever, I'm gonna be using that costume 
It's absolutely my favorite Karen costume. Like it's the only one where I can tolerate myself playing Karen with. And that's saying something. I'm a big fan of how it looks. This Karen I do actually like. I know many people say it, it looks kind of a lot like her default costume. But I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I don't know. Something about the tights and the asymmetrical skirt look really nice to me. I love the bow tie on her head looking blue. The blue color works really well with the rest of her color. So that actually looks really, really cool. And the uh, classic Karen I do think is a pretty good design. Like I think the default Karen is an A. She looks fantastic. Obviously one of the uh, cooler redesigns so far. So I'm a big fan of it. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, Tracksuit Rashid, I'm not a fan. Airman. Hmm. The Airman and Beautiful Joe, I am not a big fan. I don't think that silliness worked with Rashid. I know, that maybe that's just me, but I don't like the ultra silly costumes on him. They look a little bit weird. Uh, the baseball and the soccer player, or the football, as, as you should call it, the football player. Uh, I do think these ones are equally as good. He does look like, especially with his posture and his ideal animations and everything, he does look like a an athlete. So I do think it works for him. Uh, uh, the Aladdin Rashid. This is cute. It's cute, so let's put it at C. I'm not a big fan of his classic one, but it's not bad, so let's put it at C. And classic Rashid, I am not a fan of the sandals, so let's put it at C. Uh, tracksuit Mika, I do think again she's one of the characters who look really good in a tracksuit. I don't think it is S worthy, but I do think it's at least an A. I do think tracksuits in general looks really good in Ashley's, like I said multiple times. So characters who are like combat characters. They look good on. Uh, Monster Hunter Mika looks really nice. Absolutely one of her best looking costumes. I don't love the bow on the back. It, it looks a little bit too big. And this costume looks better when you remove the bow. So uh, it, it looks better than that. Um, this one is weird. The bunny. I don't know. It's kind of effective. But yeah. I, I, I can't give it anything more than C. In all honesty. Uh, as, as the same for this one, and just a C. Um, not a big fan of the sheer leader one. I know some people really like it. Um, I don't. Uh, school Mika looks fine. Again, that's what's gonna be C. Uh, holiday Mika, I'm not a fan at all. Uh, I, I do think this one looks really whack. Not a big fan. The uh, battle costume. So I like how the suit look, but the craziness around the, 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 the like the fact that they remove her hair, her, her hair and both these wing things, I, 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 it makes me, I can't stand this costume. Like, I do love how it looks if she had like, if she had like a normal mask or a less crazy, like it looks good to me up until like the neck. Everything above the neck is awful. Makes turns me off completely. I do actually love her uh, story costume. It's it, it's a it's a really cool singlet. Mika can pull the singlet a lot better than Zangief, so it looks a lot better than her. And um, this is actually my favorite Mika costume, so I'm gonna put it an A. I know a lot of people don't love the uh, traditional Mika costume, but I do think it looks cool on her. If you have seen any of those like, female Japanese wrestlers, a lot of them have like crazy over the top designs. Holy shit, this list never ends. So let's actually try to move it a little bit faster. Uh, tracksuit Vega, easy S tier in my opinion, looks fabulous. Where is the rest of it? Alright. Uh, not a fan, not a fan. I believe the traditional Vega looks nice here, so I'm gonna put him in B. I do like the Matador costume as well, looks really really nice, so let's put him in. This one is an A tier costume, I feel like it looks really really cool, and the, the textures on it looks really really nice. I'm not a big fan of this vampire costume, I know a lot of people like it, so I'm just gonna put it at C. And default costume for Vega I think is also a C. 
I do like how his as a classic look looks better in my opinion. I mean that's just me. Uh, track suit new Kali is C. Nothing that special. I do love his CBT costume. I'm gonna put it in A. Absolutely one of his best costumes. Looks fantastic. The uh, Wolfman costume. I'm actually a big fan of this one. I'm a big fan of this one. So I'm gonna put it in A. It looks amazing, especially when he activates V Trigger. The. Uh, I think this is a battle costume. Uh, I, I like the idea, but I don't know. But this one is awful. I'm not a big fan at all. And classic Nikali is okay. I think he looks fine in general. I'm gonna give him a B. The physics on his hair looks kind of whack, but other than that, it's alright. Uh, Ken. Ken is gonna have so many that goes... You know what? Let's actually add a row below this one. Because Ken does his costume deserve a new level of bad. Yep. The Monster Hunter one is not that awful. This one hurts my soul. Because Devil May Cry 4 Ken is a fantastic design, in my opinion, right? Like Ken in Devil, uh, or Devil May, Dante in Devil May Cry 4 looks amazing, but this one is a model of Ken just completely ruins the design. So I'm not a big fan. Tracksuit Ken is alright. So let's put him here. The Rathalos Ken. I guess I can give it a D, or like maybe C. Maybe see, it's not that bad in all honesty. And uh, traditional Ken, I'm gonna say again C. I do love the design of Ken. They don't pull it off that well in game. I'm just game. I'm just giving it C because I do love the idea behind it, but the execution is awful. Uh, tracksuit birdie, not a fan. Uh, the minor birdie, not a fan. Uh, mm, I also I'm gonna put this one with the Ken bad. Really don't like it. Uh, let's see, nostalgia birdie I feel is alright. It it looks weird. It doesn't look right, but the actual design is pretty cool, so I like it. This one I do think is a pretty good one though for birdie. The Halloween costume. He looks like a crazy butcher, so I do like that one. This one is weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean it in any bad way. He kind of reminds me of Steve Harvey a little bit. So it, it does kind of get a laugh out of me. But I'm not sure if it's good. So I'm going to put it at D. But it's an interesting costume. And default birdie I think is a C. Nothing more than that. Tracksuit Kami. Ah, it looks fine. It's fine. So I'm just putting it at B. I don't feel that strongly about it either way or the other one. The uh, we have one for Kami that I do think goes into the Ken bed, and it is this one. Uh, I hate this Kami costume. I hate it. It's like it's one of the dumbest looking costumes in the game, and I'm not sure like what is the idea. Like, like it's like it's like it's a completely half-assed idea. They wanted to get. I I understand that what they were going for, but it just doesn't work, especially with how low they made the skirt look. It looks super stupid. The Fiona costume I feel like is C. It looks really cool on Kami. The Jill Valentine one. This is gonna get an A for me. It looks absolutely fantastic. The uh, I'm not a big fan of this one. So let's put it at D. I, I get this is a Cannon Strike costume. It doesn't look bad. But I'm not a big fan of the uh, skates on Kami. So I guess it's not really, it's just the initial design, so, I don't know. The CPT costume, I do think this one looks quite nice. So I'm gonna give it a B. It looks really cool, it looks really, she looks cute in it, so I do think this one is pretty nice. The, uh, mm -mm 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 -mm, the Halloween one is just average, don't really feel that strongly about it. The dolls one, I do think is a an A tier costume. 
I do absolutely love the uh, the size high socks. They look really really cool. They complement the costume really well, and I do like the design on her hair, the twin tail. Uh, it looks really really cool. I like it. Like it a lot. Um, eh, why? The schoolgirl Kami. This is actually one of the better ones as well. Kami in general is a very pleasing looking character to look at. So I do think this one looks cool on her. Uh, she looks like a British schoolgirl. So I do like that a lot. Uh, the, uh, the Undead Bride. Let's put it there. Uh, just see. It's okay. Where would it go to Rob? Yep, love it. I love this costume for Kami. I wish this was her default costume. It looks a lot better than the default. It looks like it looks like the battle costume to Chun Li classic. It's like the same kind of deal. It takes the Kami design, moves it one step further. Love the tactical gear. Love the change to her hairstyle. Fantastic. And there are some colors who make her look like Psylocke, and uh, that looks really cool. Obviously, classic Kami is gonna be at least an eight-year design. Again, uh, Kami is a very pleasing-looking character to look at. The model is fantastic, and I do love the uh, build on her thighs. Looks really cool. I love the gun holster. It's just small details that improve the costume a little bit and makes it look really cool. Tracksuit Bison. I'm not a fan. Doesn't fit him. Classic. This is like the alpha-looking Bison. This is easily eight-year costume. The cape looks so good on him. It honestly makes the design looks really cool. Uh, not a fan. Um, Nostalgia Bison looks alright, but I don't know. Without the cape, he looks a lot lamer, I feel. It makes me realize how I actually never liked the classic Bison design. Uh, this one, again, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, and the beaten one, not a big fan also. Uh, the I'm gonna put this one in D as well. It doesn't look bad, but it uh, it doesn't bring anything new or interesting. It like it looks like it looks like a lamer version of his uh, alpha design with his classic costume and the cape. So I'm gonna put it as that. I do actually like this design a lot. I know some people are indifferent about it. It's just a traditional. It's another person with a long coat. So I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Uh, but I do think it looks really cool. I do love the uh, I do love the texture of the coat itself, and I do love the golden color or the golden black looks really really cool. He does have a badass beard with it, so I do love it. And I do think Street Fighter Five Bison is an A tier design. Um, he he looks amazing in his default costume. Absolutely one of the better updated designs. It's not like a complete redesign, but it's one of the better updated designs. Uh, Nash, uh, tracksuit Nash is gonna be in the C. Don't feel that strongly about it. I don't feel strongly about the Cam Spike one either. And this one also don't feel that strongly about it. So these guys are C. Uh, and the Nostalgia Nash, I think Nostalgia Nash is also a C. It's nothing that fantastic. The Halloween Nash. I get I get the Frankenstein monster look, but eh, I, I don't know. Never liked it to be honest. The uh, school Nash, I do think this one is an S tier design. I absolutely love this design. Like if I'm playing Nash, I'm 100% gonna be using this costume. Looks fantastic. Like the high school design on Nash looks amazing. The Captain Commando one. I don't feel strongly about it to be honest, so I'm gonna put it in C. And the classic Nash or the default Nash, uh, I think it's B. He looks cool. He looks cool, he animates well. I do love the fact that he is facing, uh, like the ideal pose looks cool, and it just, it's, it's, it's a better looking version of his nostalgia costume, so I like that a lot. I think we're gonna spend like two hours on Chun Li. Uh, tracks with Chun Li looks fine, so let's put it in B. Um, not a fan. Uh, there was another one that I'm not a fan of this one. Both of these costumes I'm not a big fan of. Now let's break it down because Shani have a lot going on. Okay, we, 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 there isn't that much left. All right, let's let's break it down. 
Morrigan Shanley is S tier. This one is personal for me, so I'm gonna put it S tier. It's actually my favorite costume in the game. Go figure. And uh, I do like the this swimsuit a lot. It grew on me. I, I didn't used to love it that much, but it grew a lot on me, so I'm gonna give it an A. It, she looks like uh, Princess Leia a little bit, so I do like that one. Do it does it for me. <laughs> like Shani is here to satisfy every fetish, but uh, she does it for me. Does it for me again? I love classy princess kind of style characters. Shani looks very classy, looks very sexy. So I'm gonna put this one in S actually. Let's put it. In. This one is an S tier costume, and you know what? Let's put it in the top five as well. Like the best thing of being a Shanley player is the costumes, you know, obviously. Uh, the, this one I'm not a big fan, so I'm gonna put it in C. It's just a, it's a lamer version of her default dress one. The training suit costume, I do think this one is effective for my taste. I get it, it is degenerate, it is slutty, but I love it. I'm being completely honest here. This one is amazing, obviously. She reminds me a little bit of Laura Croft with this one, so I do love it a lot. Obviously, at least an A-tier design. The pyjama Shanley is a guilty pleasure. I know a lot of people hate it, but I actually like it, so I'm gonna put it in the top of the C-tier. It's not a fantastic costume, but it looks pretty cool to me. I like it. I'm not a big fan of this swimsuit, so I'm gonna put this one in just the eh, D. I'm not a big fan. Nostalgia Sean Lee, this one is an S tier costume. Looks fabulous. It, it looks fabulous. So you see, it, it got me lost for words. Like, it, it looks that good. It looks that good. The uh, battle costume for Sean Lee. Like, come on. Come on. Like, we got about that in the S tier. That is an easy S tier costume. Uh, um, I do love the police outfit look actually for Shani. It's one that I've been using quite a lot recently. Again, I'm gonna put it in the top of B. It looks really cool. And I do love that they kept her uh, the big boots. Obviously, like no officer would wear a big boots like that, but I do actually like it a lot. Um, classic Shani is at least an A tier design. Like, Shani looks fabulous. Shani looks amazing in this game, by the way. Uh, winning dress does it for me. I know some people don't like it, but this is my list, so does it for me. And finally, we have the schoolgirl Chun-Li. <sighs> schoolgirl Chun-Li is very interesting because you look at it and it just plain, it looks so meh. Chun-Li does one spinning bird kick and it flies to a B tier costume. If you know, Shun if you play Chun-Li, you know what I mean. If you don't, look it out. <laughs> but I, I will not elaborate any further. If you know, you know. Uh, the uh, Street Fighter EX crossover on for you. I do think this one actually looks really nice. So I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Tracksuit Ryu is an A. You know what? Tracksuit Ryu is an S, actually. It's not even an A. I love Tracksuit Ryu. I actually love this costume. I do think it's probably his best looking costume. I know a lot of people love the hot Ryu, but uh, I, 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 I don't like it that much. Now, Ryu will have a lot that we will eliminate, right? I don't like this one. I don't like that one. Mega Man breaks my heart. Doesn't look good. Looks really stupid. The Arthur one. I guess with the Easter egg it looks fine, but other than that, I don't love it. And I don't love the Jin. Something. I don't know. Like Ryu, again, is one of these characters... I don't love ridiculous costumes on Ryu. I love costumes that looks really cool. And all of these looks kinda ridiculous. And I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of all of these. These cool one, I do think this one is at least an A. It's a very looking, it's very cool looking, traditional Japanese style looking Ryu, which looks amazing. Hot Ryu is easily an S tier costume. It's probably what Ryu should have looked like, like what like the default Ryu should have looked. Um, Alpha Ryu, this one is gonna go into the A tier. It's, it's, it's a timeless design, right? It's a timeless design. I do like 
you know, if you know the idea behind Ryu is that uh, the red bandana that w- that belongs to Ken, and uh, he's like he wears the red bandana as a reminder to for you know, as a rem- to reminds him of Ken and everything, just like a mention of their friendship. So I do love that, and I do love like seeing Ryu before that. I think it looks really cool. And traditional Ryu obviously is a timeless design. So again, uh, another eight year costume. I think Ryu looks fabulous in this game. He looks, he's probably the best looking 3D model of Ryu I have ever seen. Swimsuit Minat, I, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess it, it looks cool, but I, I don't love it. Alright, not that much left actually. Uh, Gil, I don't love this costume, this is awful. What? Is it just two Gil costumes? The traditional Gil costume I do think looks very menacing. He looks like a boss, so I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Obviously one of the coolest and one of the sickest looking designs. Uh, I I really don't like this Lucia costume. It's not awful because the execution is not bad, but I just don't like it. Tracksuit Lucia, I, I don't know, that doesn't feel it either. Halloween Lucia or just like the holiday Lucia. I like the socks. Like if you remove the socks, the legging wearing, the, the, the leg wear she's wearing, it looks really weird. But again, it doesn't look fantastic. So it's just a bottom of C. It's passable. It's at best passable. And uh, uh, Felger Lucia. It's an interesting idea, but they didn't pull it off correctly. So I'm not a fan. The Nostalgia Lucia, I'm gonna give it C. It looks cool. Uh, it looks alright. Obviously, she is uh, one of the Final Fight characters. It's her classic Final Fight look. It looked good for a character in the 90s, so for that I'm gonna give it a C. This one, I believe, is probably Lucia's best costume. It's what most of the Lucia players use anyway. Uh, it is a cool design. She does look like a SWAT slash cop kind of character, so that looks cool. This one is skin bad. I don't know what the hell they were thinking of the future cop style. And traditional Lucia, I do think, is a B design. The issue with traditional Lucia for me is the socks. Uh, I, I, I do run a PC mod on that one that uh, kind of turned her socks black. And I do think with the black color, it looks fantastic. There is also a color for Lucia. Is the one where she's wearing like a mint green one with black socks, and I do think this one looks fantastic. But the default color, I get, I get, I get it that they are going for blue and yellow because blue and yellow is her classic, like the classic cob style, the cob color. But uh, I, I, I'm not a big fan. Uh, Pepsi Man Seth, I, I get it's supposed to be a swimsuit, but it's alright. I do like the hair design, so I'm gonna put it in C. Okay, this one might surprise some people, but Tracksuit Honda is actually one of my favorite costumes in the game. And I do think it deserves a spot in the top 5. Tracksuit Honda to me looks like a mafia boss. He looks like I, I, like I can just see him running on a, in the gym, on a treadmill, and uh, making a hit on someone. I don't know why, but he looks like a mafia boss, and for some reason that looks badass as hell on Honda. Not really sure why I like it so much, but this is the first imagery that comes to my head when I think of Honda. And um, Turtle Honda, I feel like. I kind of like this one. I do think it, it looks a little bit unsettling. I get the idea, maybe they could have made it a little bit cuter, but it does look really unsettling, so I'm gonna put it at C. Classic Honda is C. Nothing that fantastic here. Um, traditional Japanese garb on Honda, I feel like, eh, doesn't do him that many favors, in my opinion. This one is amazing. The suit Honda, Honda in a suit, again, he looks like a Yakuza. He looks like a Yakuza boss, right? And for that, I'm gonna give it an S even. It's like I do think the track suit one looks a little bit even cooler, but the suit Honda again, he looks like a Yakuza boss, and for some reason, that looks totally badass on Honda. 
And his default costume, I do think, is a big improvement over his uh, nostalgia one. So I'm going to put it in the top of B. It is a really well-designed costume, in my opinion. Tracksuit Poison looks kind of weird. Not a big fan. Holiday costume for Poison, again... I, I guess it's effective, but it's not that effective. It looks a little bit weird. The Lady costume. This one is going in the S tier, in my opinion. Of all of the Devil May Cry crossovers, this one is easily the best one. I think of all of the Devil May Cry crossovers, this is easily the coolest and best looking one by far, in my opinion. By far. Most, uh, this is the Halloween poison. I love it a lot, actually. I'm not a big fan of the undead look. So I love it when there is a PC mod that makes her uh, a regular human. But even for the undead, I think they pull it off really, really well. So I'm gonna give it a B. It's one of my favorite costumes when I'm using poison at the moment. So let, let's give it a B. The, this is awful. The issue with Nostalgia Seth or Male Seth is that his proportions are all fucked up. I don't. I think the model, the, the actual design is fine. It's just that the model, the execution on the model is so bad that I just can't stand it. To be honest. Uh, does it for me? So let's put it in B. <laughs> Nostalgia Poison obviously looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna put this one in the top of the A rank. It, it, it's a fabulous... You'll see most of the poison players actually using the Nostalgia Poison. It looks really, really cool. It actually looks really, really cool. Uh, the Battle Costume for Poison. This one I used to not like, but it grew on me a lot. It actually grew on me a lot. So I'm gonna put it in the C tier. Previously, maybe it would have been a D or Ken Bad, but I do think now it's a solid C, in my opinion. The story costume for Poison, this is easily at the top of the, uh, at the top of A for my, for my, this is actually probably my favorite uh, Poison look, if I'm gonna be using, po if, obviously I use Poison a lot, but this is one of, absolutely one of my favorite looks for Poison, I do absolutely love it, and uh, Default Poison grew on me a lot, grew on me a lot. I know many people don't love or like the nostalgia more, but I'm one of the few people who actually love the uh, default poison more. I like the asymmetry of the, uh, the, the socks she's wearing. I love the belts on top of her. I love the hand thing. It just have a very punk looking style, and I do think it looks really, really cool for her. I like it. Like the nostalgia one looks a little bit too plain or too clean. And uh, I'm not that big of a fan of that one. This guy have a cobble that's going into the bin. Uh, this one is just... I don't feel it. The... Uh, the the, the, the even reused 3 Fighter 4 callback, it doesn't look good with the horn. Like The horns kind of ruin it. And I don't love how the bands look in this game. Tracksuit Kage looks actually cool. I like Tretsu Kagi a lot. It's actually one of his cooler looking skins. I just wish he had the um, the blue skin color. That one looks kind of cool. The Asura costume. It's alright. It's it's kind of disappointing. I think it could have looked a lot better, but they kind of they kind of fucked it up in all honesty. Uh, this uh, Spison, I'm not a fan of this one, so I'm gonna put it in the D tier. Classic Kage is D tier in my opinion. Kage's regular design is just disappointing. I, I, the underbites and the horns just ruin the design. He does look cool in the color, uh, I, I do think it's like the 14th or 15th color, maybe the 13th. When you make him blue, if you ever see me using Kage, you always see me using the one where his skin is blue, because he looks a lot more demonic, so it makes, the, the blue skin makes the horns kind of work, but other than that, uh, I, I'm not a fan. Tracksuit Sagat is fabulous in my opinion, 
So let's put that in Z A tier. And I, I, I remember what I said, like combat characters in general, all of them almost look really cool in tracksuit. Obviously Sagat is a Muay Thai fighter, so he looks really cool in that. Not a big fan of this one. Not a big fan of that one. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. Classic Sagat looks amazing in this game. I'm gonna put it in the A tier. And the CBT Sagat actually looks like a boss. So I do think this one is a high A tier costume. I don't think it's quite an S tier, but it is a really strong A tier costume in my opinion. And traditional Sagat, I do think it, it looks okay. Let's put him in B. I mean, he's average. I don't, I don't hate him, but it doesn't really stand out that much either. Uh, I don't like tracksuit. Uh, I don't like tracksuit G at all, at all. He's the, he looks so weird with that one. And this one for Seth, the Sagat one, I actually think... The, so, so so I think Seth pulls the Sagat look better than Sagat does it, right? So I'm gonna put the Sagat as Seth in the A tier. I do think this is actually one of the best looks for uh, Seth. And then we have the Christmas G. I guess this one. It's kind of a C. Design. I would have expected them to give maybe the Christmas costume to Birdie, but I don't know. The battle costume, I do love the shotgun on the back. He looks really cool, I think. So I'm gonna put it in the B tier. I don't have any issues with it, it just, it looks nice. The mask, the Q one, or the Q-esque look costume. Uh, I think it looks amazing. Oh, let's see. So uh, it's at the top of B. And Classic G is gonna be at the top of B as well. I don't think G looks ridiculous. Like, I love his design. You know, let's see. It looks like an absolutely fantastic character. Uh, tracksuit Cody looks... Mm, I'm gonna give him an A. Because Cody looks like a rich... He looks like a billionaire in the tracksuit i don't especially with the watch like the small touch of the watch and him like kind of adjusting the watch every now and then he looks like a billionaire in the tracksuit and for that he looks really really cool i'm not a big fan of the virtual design i'm sorry it's going in the b tier the santa cody i don't think this one actually looks really cool it's one of the best christmas skins so i'm gonna put it in the b tier um, Final Fight Cody looks alright. It, it looks, the model looks a little bit weird because it feels like, it feels like current Cody but they just added a wig. He doesn't look young. And uh, that is my issue with it. Uh, the, uh, um, the classic Cody. This is an S tier costume in my opinion. The textures on the costume look fantastic. They brought back the chains. I love the costume, uh, the secret co oh, this is not a, this is an S tier costume. The tracksuit looks fantastic in all honesty. Like, I don't think it looks, you know, or the, the nostalgia Cody, because the texture on the suit itself looks fantastic. Dabber as shit Cody, um, I like it. I like it. Cody pulls the suit better than Ken will ever do. So, it, it, it's a pretty cool solid B. Uh, this is a default Seth. I do like the default Seth a lot. I will gonna give it. I'm gonna give him an A. Default Seth is at least an A. He looks like a pretty cool character. I like the redesign. He looks better as a female than he did as a male. I'm. I don't hate the Hagar costume for Cody, so I'm gonna give it a C. I know many people don't like it. I don't mind it. And uh, regular Cody, in my opinion, might surprise some people. But I absolutely love his design. I'm gonna put regular Cody in the S rank. Call me biased. I don't really care. I do think he's one of the coolest looking default costumes in the game. Like he's by far one of the coolest looking characters by default. And uh, I love that to be honest. Tracksuit Folk looks nice. I'm gonna give him an A. 
she's one of the character who bowls the tracksuit really, really well, I think. I, I'm not a big fan of the cat one. I'm sorry. I'm not a big fan of the story one. While we're at it, let's put this ugly gill thing here. I, I was gonna get to it, but it looks ugly. And tracksuit Blanca and Negriganti. And this dumb deer thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. We just, like, we just dumbed so many costumes in a minute on the Ken bag. But they honestly look awful. Uh, does anyone else here look really bad? I don't, I'm, I, I hate this zippy costume as well. Oh, and of course we have the, the, the bad boy and bad girl costumes. I don't like either of them. And that you, oh my god, this one. You know what? You know what, actually? Let's pull back a little bit. I don't remember what the... But it was like the extra, but I don't remember the name of the character. Right? So, no, no this is like Ken Bad. But we're gonna add a new whole tier for that Minat costume. So this is Ken Bad, and at the end I'm gonna add a row below. Minat extra battle costume because this this skin deserves a special place in hell. This is the worst costume in the game, bar none, in my opinion. I don't think anything comes close to it as to how bad it looks. Anyways, uh, let's keep going here. Um, Holiday Folk uh, does it for me. I know many people don't like it, but I, it does it for me, so I'm gonna go with a B. The uh, Halloween Falk, I do think this one is an S tier costume. I absolutely love this Falk costume. It's absolutely fantastic. She pulls off the Reaper look fantastically, especially that Falk have a really cool and calm demeanor. Looks really cool on a Reaper, I believe. Uh, the. Uh, the goth finger folk, I don't like it actually. So let's let's put it at C. It's not bad by any means, but it, it doesn't it doesn't strike me out that much. Swimsuit folk looks cute, so I'm gonna put it at uh, C. It's a cute looking costume, nothing more than cute. Biker folk is an A tier costume. This one is fantastic, fantastic. It's a fantastic looking design and all the. Probably her best design if it wasn't for the Reaper one. What else? Uh, and traditional Falk, I do think, looks cool. I am gonna give her a B. Traditional Falk is a much improved uh, head design and uh, the enhanced color looks really, really cool. So I'm gonna give her a B. And Nostalgia Blanca is going in the C. It doesn't look the. It, it, it looks alright, but. Nothing too special. Nothing too special. The uh, Blanca Shan, that's obviously an S tier costume. Like, come on. No one can hate the Blanca Shan costume. Obviously, it's one of the better looking costumes in the game. Very creative idea. Actually, actually, I know many people who played Blanca because of it. The Aztec Blanca, I'm not a big fan of it. And the classic Blanca, I will say, is an uh, Azu. I do think is at least an A-tier design. I actually think this is probably the best Blanca has ever looked. He looks like a something you will find in the jungle. He looks like a monster. The long hair and or the the amount of hair on his body looks really really cool. It's a it's a much improved version of his default look. Simple adjustment, but made it go a long way. Uh, Tracksuit Sakura, in all honesty, it is her best looking costume. So I'm gonna put this one in the S tier. She looks fantastic in the tracksuit. She absolutely looks, she looks very cute. She looks very cool, which is something that is like, that's what you want with Sakura. Very cute and very cool. 
dress Sakura. This one is kind of cute, but I'm not a big fan of it. It look it has a little bit of weirdness to it, so I'm just gonna put it in the C tier. Uh, tracksuit Gil does not look right. The roll costume is. I actually like this one a lot. It's so uh, she. She doesn't look as ridiculous as the Mega Man Ryu costume, so I'm gonna put it in the B tier. It looks a lot better than Ryu as Mega Man, but again, don't really you know, don't love it that much. Tracksuit Ziku is fabulous. Again, another character who looks really cool in tracksuit. The only reason this one is only going in the B tier is I actually don't like how young Ziku looks at all. Old Ziku looks fantastic in the tracksuit. Young Ziku, I'm not a fan of his cut costume. Uh, this one is kind of effective. Holiday Sakura or like Christmas Sakura. So let's put it in the B tier. Not a big fan of this one. The swimsuit one for Sakura. So this one is going in the D. Uh, this one looks super cute. Uh, the classic. Japanese skin for Sakura or like I don't know what it is. It's like a classic Japanese garb, I believe. Uh, and she looks super cute in this costume. So I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Who else do we have? Uh, traditional Sakura is nice. I'm gonna put it all this. I'm gonna also put this one in the B. It's a fine looking costume. It's not too amazing, but there is nothing wrong with it. Sakura still pulls the high school girl look much better than Karen does and I do think much better than Ibuki does as well. Ibuki is alright in the schoolgirl costume but not the default. And uh, I know many people don't like Sakura as Ryu, like the Ryu cosplay one, but I actually generally like it. I, I think it looks really really cool on Sakura. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I do think Sakura in general have a cool model in this game. Not a big fan of this one, The uh, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I never see any Sakura players using it, so it just goes to tell you how it looks. And classic Sakura or the default Sakura is an A tier design in my opinion. I do, I really love the Sakura redesign. She looks really cool. She looks like an adult. She is super cute, kind of attractive also in a sexy way a little bit. They kept the skirt and the dynamic of the skirt going on. I love the hair. She, her having grown a little bit more hair, give her a more adult look. So, absolutely fantastic, amazing job on the that costume design. I'm not a big fan. Byron costume obviously looks cool, but it ruins the gameplay. So I'm not a big fan. And uh, nostalgia Zeku is fine. So I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Some, in, in, if he's winning, like there is a dark blue color where he looks really, really cool. Like dark blue nostalgia Zeku, I will say is an A tier costume, but the green default green looks, it's, it's just a B tier costume. The Strider one, I'm not a fan of the hat on all Zeku, so I'm gonna put it in the D tier. Suit Zeku is an A tier costume. I absolutely love the business suit uh, Ziku. This one has some killer colors. The old Ziku looks really cool. The young Ziku looks really cool. Both of them look absolutely fabulous in it. And uh, I do think it's absolutely one of my best costumes for Ziku. The uh, classic Ziku, the default. Um, I'm not a big fan of the... Uh, like the, the green vest thing he's wearing, I get like he's supposed to be like a Japanese grandmaster. It's supposed to highlight his grandmaster status. I get that, but I don't know. But at least young Ziku looks amazing. So I think old Ziku looks like I would give old Ziku like a C in this one, but young Ziku is an S in my opinion. So let's make this, let's give it an A because I do think young Ziku looks fantastic. Like default young Ziku. Looks awesome. Uh, Minat does not look good at all in the um, tracksuit. Felicia Minat, I mean, it's cute. So I'm gonna put it in the B tier. It's just cute, nothing more than that. Uh, this one, I don't like it. 
I get the idea, I get the reference, but for an Egyptian classic in ancient Egyptian looking costume for Minat, uh, I do think she have much better ones. And the professional one, this one, see, see, the, the maiden is the maiden style costumes doesn't do it for me. It's not, it's not something I'm into, so I never liked it. And the great warrior looking gill, I do think this one is a pretty cool costume. So let us put it in high B. Finally, we have tracksuit Seth, and I do think tracksuit Seth is a solid C. I do like the uh, wristbands that she, she or they are wearing, so that is actually kind of cute, but uh, it doesn't really, it's not visually striking. And uh, that is pretty much it for the list. I know it's a very long video, but uh, and I didn't go over each costume in as much depth as I could, uh, but I hope that you have enjoyed it. These are generally the S tier costumes. If you care about like which one do I think are the best looking costumes in the game, Morrigan Chun Li, uh, Swimsuit 2 Laura, Schoolgirl uh, Jury, CBT Chun Li. Obviously, we have Mafia Boss uh, Honda or like his tracksuit costume, the professional for Colleen, tracksuit Balrog, Nostalgia Balrog, Lady, the default Balrog, Battle Shan Li, Fang. Oh, if you notice, again, like I said, most of the combat characters look amazing in tracksuits. Like, uh, uh, you know, uh, Sakura does, Ryu does, Zangief does, Honda kinda does. Balrog does, even Vega looks really really cool in it. And uh, that is pretty much it for today's video. Uh, let me know what you think of it, uh, which costumes are your favorites, and which costumes do you absolutely not like or hate. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon page and the Discord server page in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.